Guys, if you're looking to buy FIFA Ultimate Team Coins for Team of the Season, etc., go and check out FIFAUTCoinshop.com for a fast and reliable service. Their link is in the description below. What is going on guys and welcome to episode 11 of Trading 2, a man of the match, Marco Royce. If you're looking to buy FIFA Ultimate Team Coins, check the link in the description below. As well guys, if you would please go and follow me on Twitter, there will be a link in the description below to that. And as well guys, there is a link to my Twitch in the description below, please go and follow me on there. Uh, you guys um, did ask in comments uh, asking for a trading methods episode basically so in the next episode guys after this one will be basically my trading tips what I search for when I search for what times stuff like that so that'll be the next episode so there you go guys you know that but as you can see in this episode guys uh, we spent quite a lot of coins we still got about 40k left but we've picked up 30 items in the trade pile uh, picked up some very very nice players as you can see there uh, Somebody did comment, or quite a few people did comment, and had a few thumbs up on it. Please show us how much you actually list them up for and when you do it. So I'm actually going to do that right now. I uh, picked up a Rainer in the 41212 for 4,500 coins. I'm going to list him up for about 5k because he has about 18 contracts. I always do check their contracts and see how much contracts they've got and then uh, see how much they, I think they'll be worth. So we're going to list that one up for 5k. A Valencia in the 41212 right mid for 2,500 coins, so we're going to actually list that one up for 3k. Uh, Kyle Walker, uh, 41212 uh, with two contracts for 2,400, so we're going to actually try and sell that for 2,900. And Anderson uh, for 800 coins, not in a great formation, but in a CDM position, so I'm actually going to try and get rid of him for 1,500 coins. Another Rainer in the 41212, but this one's only got four contracts, we picked him up for 4,300, so we're actually going to list him up for... 4,900. They picked up Michael Carrick 4231 the CDM for 1,500. Ain't got a lot of fitness, but he's got quite a lot of contracts. So we're going to list him up for 2k and hopefully he'll sell for that. A David De Gea 4212 uh, with only four contracts for 2,500. We're going to actually list him up for 2,900 coins. Then another Rainer in the 41212. It's only got two contracts uh, for 4,400. So we're going to look for about 4.9 for him. Uh, they picked up another Carl Walker, 41212 uh, for 2,500. Going to look for 3k for him. Um, once it decides to load, and then we'll go on to the next player. We picked up a Pulse Goals a CDM, 41212 for 3,300. Going to list him up for 4,000 coins. Then we picked up a Mickle Richards, 41212 with 68 contracts. So that's a quite a lot of contracts. Because he has a lot of contracts, I'm going to list him up for 3,300. Hopefully you'll sell for that. Then a Rainer with one contract for 4,400. So we're going to actually list that one up for 4,800. It's not a lot of coins profit. It's about 200 coins profit. Uh, maybe a bit less. But it's still profit. It's profit, guys. It all adds up at the end of the day. Then we picked up Paul Skulls, 4231 CDM for 1,400. I'm going to list it up for 2k start price and 2.4 by now. Actually, no, we're going to list it up for 2.2 and 2.4 by now. Then another Mick Richards, 41212 for Manchester City for 2,500 with only two contracts. So we're going to list that one up for 3k. Then a Continuo for Liverpool, all the way, moved down all the way to a CDM position. And he's actually in a 41212. We picked him up for 9,500. Um, I've actually traded with him quite a lot in the 41212 CDM. Uh, on f this series so far, so we're actually going to list it up for 12k star and 13k by now. Then we pick up a Valencia of only five contracts, 41212, right mid for 2400. So we're going to actually list that one up for 2900. Then a Kyle Walker, uh, which is normal seven contracts, 2500 in the 41212 for 3k. Most of these players, guys, in this episode have been a 41212. And I picked up a Rainer in the 41212 with 76 contracts uh, for 4,500. We're going to actually try and get rid of him for 5,200. Then a Carl Walker with 41 contracts in the 41212 uh, for 2,500. We're going to list that one up for 3,200. I may have to drop the price on these a little bit, but not too much. So we picked a Fletcher in CDM in the 3412 for 550 coins. We're going to actually try and get rid of him for 1,300. Then we picked up another Valencia in the 41212 for 2,500. Going to set, put him up for 
2,900 coins. And then an Anderson in the 352 CDM with 34 contracts uh, for 2k uh, for 1,200 and we're going to list them up for 2k. Then we picked up a Jose Enrique 41212 for 2,500. Could be looking for about 3k for him. And then we picked up a Fletcher in the 41212 for 1,800. We're going to look for about 2.5 for him. Uh, something's actually sold. Then we picked up a Surigu in the 41212. Uh, with 11 contracts for 1,400, we're going to actually list them up for 1,900. Uh, then we picked up a PAL. Uh, I haven't traded with any silver players, but I saw this deal and I was like, I'm going to have to pick this up. For 8,600 in the CDM 352. Uh, Centre MIDI actually goes for about 8 to 9k, so he's in the CDM. So I'm actually going to list him up for 9.9 uh, .9 and hopefully he will actually sell. Uh, then we picked up a Rainer 4122 uh, for 4,500. going to look for about 50. 15k, I mean 5k for him. I'm um, going to be hoping for about 145k, maybe 150k at the end of this episode. I accidentally bid 2600 on this car walker in the 41212. So we're going to actually try and get rid of 3k, so it's about 200 coin profit on him. Not a lot, not as much as I was hoping for. We picked up another Valencia 41212 for 2500. Going to list him up for 2900. They picked up another Jose Enrique for 2500 in the 41212. And we are going to list him up for 3,000 coins. I'm not really sure how many are left. Uh, nothing else is left. So we've actually listed everything up, guys. Uh, hopefully, we'll be on about, what I say, 140 to uh, 150k at the end of this episode. But I'm going to wait for all these to sell, guys. And I will get back to you once they have all sold. So I'll see you in a sec, guys. And we are back guys, and as you can see, everything has actually sold, and we're up to 144,714 coins, so it's a 14k profit in this episode. Uh, all 30 items have actually sold, I was actually hoping for a lot more profit than this, but I'm not. I'm going to take it, I'll take any profit at this precise moment, as you guys probably know it's very hard to trade at the moment i find it quite hard to trade because of the market crash players prices are dropping overnight very very easily but you can see everything has actually sold we did make a profit which i'm not going to complain about and at this precise moment i will take 10k profit if i have to but as you see arena in the 41212 he sold for 5k uh, valencia sold for 3k Jozone arike sold for 4.9 and anson he sold for 1.5 a carl walker for 2.9 a michael carrick for 2k David De Gea, oh no, Coutinho, he sold for 12,000 coins and picked him up for like 9,500, so it's a nice little profit on him. Uh, David De Gea, he sold for 2.9. Uh, Kyle Walker sold for 3k. Uh, Valencia sold for 2.9. Uh, Fletcher sold for 2.2. Uh, Jose Enrique again, he sold for 5k. Another Kyle Walker, 3.2. Valencia for 2.9. Uh, another Jose Reina for 4.9. Uh, another Kyle Walker, 3k. Paul Scholes, I oh, know. Tell I keep reading it before it actually does come up. Michael Richards sold for 3.3. Uh, Paul Scholes for 3.9. Another the Rainer for 4.9. 4.8. Apologies. Uh, Anson sold for 2k. Uh, another Paul Scholes for 2k. Uh, another Rainer for 4.9. A uh, Jose Enrique he sold for 3k. Uh, Fletcher in the 4 on 2 on 2. I think we picked up for about 1,500 or 1,800. We've sold him on for 2,500. Uh, Sirigu sold for 1.8. Kyle Walker sold for 3k. Uh, the Pal in the CDM 352 sold for 9.5, so it's a nice profit on him. Michael Richards in the 41212, he is sold for 3k. Uh, another Jose Enrique, he is sold for 2.9. And a Valencia sold for 2.9 as well. So we've actually made a nice profit. 14k, 15k is not a bad profit. I'm going to take that any day of the week. Trading, you can see, has up to 209. But I actually take. Uh, 14k profit at this precise moment because of the market. You guys can let me in the comments below. Tell me what you think of the market crash. You think it's got out of hand because I do. Because some of the players, uh, I was looking at Rainer today while I'm recording this part, and Rainer in the 4122 has dropped to about 4.5, 4k now. So he's gone down quite a lot. And that was only, I picked all those players up a day ago, and over a day he's dropped by five, 600 coins, which is quite insane. But yeah, guys, um, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Um, if you have, please remember to leave a like on this video. It really does mean a lot, and I really do appreciate it. And remember, if you actually are new around here, remember to hit that subscribe button as well. We're coming up to 3,000 subscribers. 
And as well guys, Tom, the next episode of this will be a trading methods episode showing you guys how I actually trade because uh, a lot of you guys have actually asked for that. So that is what I'll do in the next episode. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. So thank you for watching guys. Take care and I'll see you all soon. Cheers.